Hello and welcome once again to another QuickBooks tutorial. Today we're going to discuss how to uh, import a chart of accounts into QuickBooks Online. If you need to know how to export a chart of accounts from QuickBooks Online, I will leave the link in the description below. But let's get started. So first we want to go to Accounting and Chart of Accounts. Now I already have a chart of accounts but we're going to go through the process of what it would be for you to uh, import. So let's do the drop down, hit import. Here we have two options. One is browse if we already have the file ready. Two is download a sample file. Now I have a sample file ready here. This is what it looks like. Now I recommend using the sample file and that's just for the reason of avoiding any errors and whatnot. So let's say you've already exported your chart of accounts or you've prepared it. Here I have one. I am gonna go ahead and copy this and import it into let me paste it here and do we actually let me insert copy paste. Okay. So I've copied it into the the sample file from QuickBooks and the reason I recommend you do that is to avoid errors so I'm gonna now copy the type and paste it and then the detail type detail type copy and paste now if you have numbers you can enter them here um, if you have numbers from the sample uh, from the file that you've prepared uh, before it would just copy them and paste them as we did and then just hit save and close the file we're gonna close this one as well so now I'm gonna browse and find there we go hit next okay so now in this section, we're going to map the QuickBooks file and the Excel file. So we have detail type. These were the headers that we saw. Uh, and account name, account number, account type. Once it's all green, good to go. We hit next. And now everything we've imported will be listed here. The account number, the checking account the savings account, the receivables account, all the account names, the account types, and the detail type. Once you're good to go, once you've checked this, um, then uh, you can hit import here. Now, from time to time, you'll face an issue where something will be wrong. It'll be read like this. Uh, let's just say the name was entered wrong or the name doesn't match to anything in QuickBooks whatever there's many reasons but if it's there all you have to do is hit the drop down select the right one and it'll clear off one thing to know is that if it has if it's red it will not import until you fix it which is a good thing uh, hit import and you're good now I already have the chart of accounts so I will not be importing um, but you hit import and yes, I do want to leave without saving. And then your chart of accounts should look, should look something like this. Now I have balances in this sample uh, file, but if this is a new QuickBooks file, you will not have any balances. I hope this video was helpful. Um, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you know somebody that can benefit from this video, please share it. Um, by subscribing and sharing, you help us help other business owners like yourself. Uh, so once again, thank you so much. This is Enoch Garcia.